To buy furniture is very expensive, even it's very low quality, but it's very expensive. I think about to make my own furniture from the second hand wood. Especially, we have a very cheap second hand window. This window is come from the old temple. This window used to be the window of the temple more than 100 years already, but nobody want this window because it's in the temple, people are afraid of the ghost or the spirit that they live in the temple. But we are very good friends with all kinds of spirit, so all kinds of ghosts. So we don't mind to use them. So it's very cheap to buy the old window. This window made of thick wood. It's very old thick wood. We cannot find a thick that can be this big anymore now. This is the whole piece of teak and then they just make the line on top of that piece. This window is more than 100 years old. It's so old. You can see many layers of paint that they keep painting on top of this window many times. I want to keep the green more than the pink on top of it. For the leg of this table, we want the height is only 36 centimeters only because we want to sit on the floor so we don't want it to be too high. This is leftover wood that they will throw away. So we got it, we just sand it a little bit, make it smooth, it will look nice. It is so easy if you want very short wood like this because people cut the wood a lot and then the short one they always throw away. But we need about eight of them because one leg of the table we need two like this because it will be thick enough for the wheel because our table we want to have wheels on it. Then we can screw them and then make them attach together, connect together very well. It's good to pre-drill first before we screw it in because hardwood is not easy to drill it in. It's not like in Western country, it's soft wood. You can just screw it in easily. But here, you need pre-drill most of the wood here. Each legs of the table, I will screw only two screw only because I thinking about when I take it apart, it will be easier because one day we need to take it apart. I don't like to make it too good, too tight because when you take it apart, it's too much work. I need to put two pieces of wood attached together so to make it big enough because I have very small wood like a two by four. So it's big, it's smaller than the wheel. So to put two together, it's just perfect for the wheel. This is enough for four legs of the table. Then I need to prepare the window to see where is going to be the best spot for the legs of the table. It will be stable, more stable is the most important thing. So it need to have a piece of wood to hold the leg to make it more stable, not wobbling so much. This piece of wood is about three and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters. I will screw on the the bottom of the window first. So this part will help to hold the legs, make it more stable. It can be anywhere that you like it, but I like to put the leg at the end of the corner because I feel like it will be more stable. Then I will put the leg like this. This will be the four legs. But before I screw, I need to measure to make it evenly each side and then after that just screw it in this is gonna help 
to hold the leg stable because if we screw it only on top of the leg, it can move, it can come off easily. But when we drill on the side and on top of it, it will help to hold the leg very strong and stable. It will not move anymore. After I screw four legs attached to a piece of wood, I attached to the table already. Now I need to screw the top of the table to attach to the legs. So it's better to measure where is the legs going to be. So I can screw in there in the right spot. It's important to put two screw every size because when we have two screw, it helps to hold the leg to stay firmly. It will not move much. It will be very stable. But if we have only one screw, it can move sometime. So to make sure that our leg will last long, it's good to put two screws together. When the legs was attached to the window very firm, the next step is to put the wheel on it. So this pie wheel is good, you can lock it. If you don't want it to move, you can lock it easily. So it's good to have two pieces of wood attached together if we have a small wood like it. This is wood is too small. But if you have the big wood, it's okay, it's easier too. But we try to use the uh, leftover wood that people are going to throw away to make it more useful. That's why we have to attach together. After I put four wheels on, that's done. So this table is ready to use. So we can move it easily. We can move anywhere without lift it. So we just push it anywhere. And then if we want it to be uh, stable, if we want it to not move, we just lock it like this. Then it will be very strong. It can stay still very well after that. So it's just perfect. It's easy, very cheap. It doesn't take so long. It's nice. I make it short like this because we like to sit like this. Because in Thailand, we don't like to sit on the chair much. It's good to sit on the floor with the table like this, convenient for us. And you can make any height that you want, whatever you feel comfortable, but it's so easy and cheap to make it yourself. I am not a carpenter. I did not do this job before, but it's good to try and learn. One of this table, I learned how to coat it with epoxy because it will help to protect the wood and it help it to clean easily. I also make the table in the dining room. So it's so nice to have some old window as your dining table. This one, I keep the original color there. I did not sand it off to show the history of the window. And the bench also made from secondhand door too. So everything here is secondhand and then everything that people throw away, we put together. It's so cheap. If I have to buy something like this, I need to work more than one month to have enough money to buy them. But when I learn how to do it myself, it takes only a few days. I can make the whole furniture easily with a little bit of money to buy secondhand wood and some of leftover wood. You can get for free 